dear Aries, this is a love reading that will predict who is coming towards you with hopefully new chances of love and relationships. It is a prediction for Aquarius season, January 20 to February 18, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. This reading is dedicated to Robin that made a donation for Aries. So thank you so much, Robin. I am so grateful for your support. And this will be a reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And it's going to be about who is coming towards you in Aquarius season with complications or love, whatever is on the divine agenda for your spiritual growth. It is a good idea to watch now as a forecast, but also watch again when you are smack in the middle of Aquarius season so you can stay up to date with the advice for dealing. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the golden tarot with cat black. So when I open your deck here, I see two of cups uh, together with ten of cups. So maybe Aries, you're still in love, you're already in love with someone or still in love with someone. Okay, I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the trio cups together with the two of cups. So trio cups is when we are uh, being together with the people that we really belong to. We get each other. Sometimes we don't even have to say with words what we mean. They just get us. Uh, so it can be family members, friends, uh, lovers, uh, co-workers, the people that makes our life fun and, and worth living. Okay. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the emperor together with two of cups. So the emperor is Aries and uh, uh, it's a beautiful... A sign of kind of protection, protective energy over this uh, Two of Cups, this uh, relationship. So it's something that's valuable uh, to you and you're putting a lot of, you can see this person is watching right towards this Two of Cups. So this is uh, very important for you, this relationship. Um, and it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be your um, your children, your your family friends as i told you before so and this is the six elements and we have the chariot and two of cups so it's some kind of forward movement in this situation some kind of uh, rapid forward movement uh, okay six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear aries viewers so oops I want my dear Aries uh, uh, <laughs> to have love in their life. King of Cups. Um, for some of you, uh, the emperor that we saw is someone that you are dealing with. And this person has maybe recently discovered uh, that they love you through some kind of epiphany. Uh, maybe before they were uh, a little bit more stubborn. Uh, while you probably knew that this was the big love all along. They needed some kind of wake-up call. Okay. Um, actually wanting to do this again. Uh, so, I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path uh, towards your highest destiny. Okay. So, it's done there. I will just tune in to you and whoever is coming towards you in Aquarius season, Aries. Okay. So, uh, this is your future there. And this is your now. And in the now, we have a Ten of Wands, Justice, Death. Uh, so, you are going through something rather... We have both the world card and the death card, so it's um, both about uh, endings, kind of, eight of cups, walking away, because we are demanding justice. So I think even if you love a person, you don't show it because the other person needs to, uh, you know, show love as well. It needs to be balanced in this relationship. Okay. And uh, this is in the future, and we have the two of wands. Uh, seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, Six of Coins, Strength card. Okay, uh, so uh, I see you having 
boundaries towards people that um, can't seem to tell the truth. So even if you know that this person, people actually loves you and kind of wants to be your hero, uh, they are not showing it. And as long as they are not showing it, uh, the door is closed. Okay. Uh, first card here is uh, four of wands. So I'm thinking even if you are in separation from a person that's um, rather impossible, uh, you uh, still feel love for this uh, person. But what I'm also picking up is this what we saw before, that you're enjoying the company of uh, relatives, uh, friends, uh, children, uh, co-workers, other people that can put uh, uh, like a spark in your, uh, in your life. Uh, so you just don't, uh, you don't stay hooked up on only one person needing to provide you with whatever it is that you need to be happy, that you're actually um, starting to understand also that there's other people in your life that needs your love and attention. And here we have the two of swords. So it's what I felt also with the ten of wands, that even if you love a person, uh, you are uh, not currently maybe speaking to them or having so much fun time with them or your relationship might be on hold or it's a little bit chilly inside that relationship. Uh, with the two of swords it says we, we are trying to be diplomatic but I'm also sensing this with you. Um, you kind of want to force them to, to yield. Uh, you have given them an ultimatum about uh, what it is that uh, they need to do uh, to come in your good grace again and as long as they don't do that they are not allowed in okay and then we have the three of coins so uh, from a divine point of view this is real good teamwork <laughs> okay so even if you are not working as a team right now uh, it's anyway good teamwork because um, uh, everyone is um, uh, people are doing what they were uh, kind of predicted to do everything is going accordingly to plans and the divine and you is probably working to maybe get this uh, person to um, also engage more in the relationship here instead of being so focused on what they can accomplish out in the world okay and then we have the knight of swords i want to see the next card as well the empress um this is the uh, different energies uh, so I'm thinking if, um, if you are representative of the divine feminine, uh, either in a male or a female body, uh, you are the one that have shown a lot of love and uh, uh, now being kind of a little bit sick and tired of uh, continue doing that while the other person seems to uh, be uh, destructive towards what you are trying to build. Um, and this is the divine masculine in a male or female body. Uh, it just how we identify the divine masculine is usually with uh, it's a four so it's a square the three is um, more a random shape it's a person that's not so stale not so stubborn a person that can um, they can give up their idea for some better idea tomorrow while the four is more stubborn they have this idea and that's what they're going to fight for uh, okay ten of wands um I'm seeing this ultimatum and we can see here the Empress is uh, putting effort into other things in, in her life or her life, his life, uh, whomever this is. And it's a very, it's a plentiful life. It's a, a lot of beautiful things there and building bridges and uh, taking care of people, having fun. Uh, while this other person is fighting for their position up on the ladder here. And let them do that as long as they think that this is funny. Uh, it's probably rather boring eventually when no one gives them attention. Okay. So they can be the king of the hill, but no one is on the hill. So what's the point? <laughs> okay. Um, and here we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I'm thinking you will have chances to butt heads again. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, something is being recycled in this spiral of drama that's coming repeatedly. Uh, Ace of Swords, you're much better equipped this time to deal with this issue. Uh, so you're awake and aware and you know to put uh, boundaries. So 
I, I can feel relaxed. Okay, I hope. <laughs> and then we have the two of cups. So the love is still here in this equation, even if this person have kind of misplaced their focus and their energy, they put focus on who looks the smartest, has the best, best sign or, uh, you know, their name is on top of the list or whatever is going on with that person. Um, and um, if they can stop focus on that and see what's really valuable in life, it's the people that you have around you, you're not going to miss your job when you're dead. Some ghosts um, or spirits apparently miss their money and still search for where they was buried. But most people are uh, kind of staying ghost or spirit in spirits because in spirit because um, they have regrets towards the people uh, how they treated people when they were alive. Sorry, my voice got a little bit. <clears throat> strange eight of coins underneath the knight of swords this person needs to uh you know work on this over and over and over and over and over again it's a person that maybe doesn't get it the first time so they have to do it eight more times or they didn't get it the first three times so they need to do it eight more times um and um, the divine has a lot of patience with this person uh, you seem to have a lot of patience, but you are kind of shunting them out and focusing on your own life. And um, this person will see Page of Swords. Well, they have backed a little bit from their Knight of Swords kind of energy. Uh, and this is a person being a little bit more open to transformation, but they're still very stubborn. We can see this on the um, Taurus um, thingy above there. Uh, this is uh, Gemini, you might be dealing with, uh, we have Libra and uh, Aquarius as well, and, but it doesn't have to be like that uh, air sign, it just shows a person that wants to win, a person that wants to uh, beat you with logic, even if they have a faulty logic, <laughs> so they still want to be the, like on the top, um, and, but here it's much more graceful energy because the reason to why this person is acting like this they might have to do with uh, their sense of belonging they don't feel that they are worthy they don't feel worthy of love so they think that if they fight for a place on the top they will be worthy of love but here they come as a child instead and approaching in a little bit more humble way but this child is kind of an orphan child so it's kind of it's this child that's very hard to get close to uh, that will, you know, steal the bread, but then uh, point finger and run away. <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing with this person. Uh, so they're not all that easy, but uh, um, there's some kind of mission here, a boring mission with, uh, you know, you being dangled as a carrot in front of this person's face uh, until you, in, until they get it, until they get that... Uh, it's you that's valuable, your relationship is valuable, the people you have around you is valuable, not if they can, uh, you know, win the arguments or look good in the arguments or be the one having the last word or being the one with the most shiny car. Uh, so that's, um, it can take time to get that into their little head. <clears throat> yeah, they might not be ready yet, uh, this card says. <laughs> and um there is a block yeah and the block is their stubbornness it's this um, um the this taurus symbol it's a very beautiful symbol because it's a fertility and and you know hard working but it's this person is hard working uh, towards the wrong direction a little bit and and this is where the block is in this relationship and you're also blocking them but out of necessity uh, cultural differences. So cultural differences means that you have different ideas of right and wrong. They might see it, they might be brought up with people which uh, everyone was uh, having this kind of winner kind of mind and they butt head until they grew up and they continue butting head maybe. And uh, you might be have been raised with people that were a little bit more, it should be equal, we should be fair to each other. And if we come into this relationship together with those different opinions, um, you don't wish to fight and the other one wish to fight <laughs> and they wish to win and you just wish everything will be equal. And this makes for cultural differences. But I think you have... Uh, 
uh, sorted it out with the twos here. You are kind of close the door in their face. So if they are going to focus on the wrong thing, you are not going to be there to encourage them. They can do that and fall on their face all on their own. And we saw with the tower that they are falling on their face. And that's why um, probably this with you closing the door made the fall for this person. And they still want you and they want to work on improving themselves because they love you. But they are not really... They are not particularly capable. This is just a child. So it means a person that's um, uh, <clears throat> uneducated. And we have tired of trying because this person might be trying something that uh, is um, not working with you. Uh, so they're trying to impress you with uh, all these things, you know, winning over you. They're trying to impress you and say, see, I won over you. I'm better than you. So you need to want me because I can protect you. <clears throat> or um, I'm uh, having a better car than you or I run faster than you or whatever it is. And that's how they try to impress you and make you love them because this is how they believe that they will be loved. And uh, that's not working with you because of the cultural differences. And uh, I think both of you might be very tired of, of trying and the last <clears throat> desperate for someone new yeah um this person even though they love you they might try to find someone new to parade uh, outside your house for example to make you jealous uh, so that you will see i can get uh, i can get other partners to want me so you would want me too uh, because they have this way with them where they are doing these um, little bit stupid things so for some of you uh, they are going to parade someone new uh, because they are this desperate with trying to get your attention and you shouldn't give them attention for any sort of thing where they are behaving badly give them attention when they do something nice then you shine your whole sun towards them when they are not acting nice you just you know roll down your curtains and do something else you know don't focus on this person but what I'm seeing here is that they might come through with a message to you. Uh, but this message, you know, they are still not particularly skilled with this. Uh, so they might do something that's a little bit desperate. Uh, wedding in the reversed. Uh, so wedding in the reverse can sometimes mean a split up or we are not together anymore but i already seen that but i want to see what's coming in the future maybe some of you are, will get a divorce um okay see if the whole deck is upside down no it's not just these cards <laughs> okay release your ex um, you probably want to release your ex but for since it comes in reverse it seems very hard to do that uh, so if we have been married to a person, of course, they were very important for us. This is also a marriage card and to a source is ignoring this person we are married to. Uh, so um, they might take a little bit time for you to uh, detach if you want to find someone new. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. You might need to give it even a, a few years before you can... Uh, move on from a relationship that has been really significant and keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and don't be desperate for for someone new um i just see you on the above row on the below row yes i see you here but then i see this person uh, kind of trying to um they think they have found like an epiphany like if I do like this they will want me uh, <clears throat> and it's probably not going to work because this is what I see and I think this is a person from the past and if it's a new person this person won't impress you either um, rather they will uh, probably seem very childish and immature and, and self-focused and uh, keep an open mind I don't think you should keep an open mind so that you will be able to you know, um, accept that a person is like this. Um, it might be that you need to change type altogether. If you're falling for people that uh, uh, haven't, they are having trouble finding their own foot. Maybe you should try to, you know, change type and and get a person that's, um, you know, older and maybe more sophisticated, more cool, more 
um, nice. They don't have to, you know, show off their their sparkly feathers like this. I will try one last time. <laughs> Who's coming towards you? <clears throat> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So this is the divine what they want because they, as I said, they use you as a carrot to dangle in front of this person so they will grow. Uh, but um, so it's hard for you to be with them and it's hard for you to let them go and the divine wants you to give them a chance that's probably why you feel stuck but if you want someone new aim for a new type don't aim for the old type try something new okay and that will give you hopefully success uh, so if you don't want to be part of this uh, <laughs> spiritual game to make this person grow up uh, you need to change the rules by changing what you put into the game so to speak okay so my dear aries thank you for watching i hope this was helpful and if you like my content and want to see more videos like this on how to heal yourself and make yourself ready for that true romantic partner of yours or if you just want to work on spiritual growth remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video is ready and waiting for you and if you are a subscriber, you can now become a member to my channel and get access to premium content videos, either as a supportive member that will get access to Q&As where I answer your questions, or as an extended member that will get most of my videos like this ahead of time and with no ads, or as a full member that will get access to my mediumship training videos and other special videos above everything else. Welcome to check this out through the link in the description box or through the join button. For my regular viewers, not much will change except you will get more videos from me than you did before. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm truly grateful for my wonderful, loving and supporting viewers. Until next time, take really good care and stay blessed. Bye bye.